everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas that I'm going to do multiple dirty cup pours on or ring pours. We'll just have to see um, how it goes, but let's go over my paint. My base coat is Blick Titanium White mixed with Liquitex Basics Unbleached Titanium just to give an off-white color. I didn't want to just go with the basic white today, so I'll show you that color, just a real light off-white color. My other colors are the Master's Touch Brown Red, Master's Touch Viridian, Liquitex Basics Turquoise Blue, Golden Fluid Acrylics Primary Yellow. And my last three paints are the Porridge Posse paints from Christine Welsh's line. First one is Maria's Lake Forest Metallic. Real pretty green color. My next one is the Porridge Posse paint Galaxy Blue Shimmer. And my next paint is again the Porridge Posse Paint Snow White Iridescent Pearl. And my pouring medium today is uh, seven parts of the mix. And I'll show you the mix to one part paint. I did um, thin with like one squirt of water. And let me show you consistency here. And you can just see how beautiful these paints are, the, the um, Porridge Posse Paints. It does leave a little bit of a trace here. Left it a little bit on the thicker side. No silicone used in my paints today. So what I'm going to do is um, turn the camera off, put down my base coat. I'm gonna fill all my cups. I'm not even sure how many cups I'll use yet, but at least two or three or four, we'll see. And then I'll bring you back when I'm ready to pour. Okay, hey everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down of my um, off-white, and I actually filled five little cups, and I'm just going to start, I think I'm just going to do some dirty pours here. Keep it simple. And I'm not sure I'll use all five cups. Just depends. And again, I am using the mix. And I'm going to be curious as to how all the paints play together. Okay, here's the first one. And I will just fix this little ending part there. Beautiful colors already. Okay, let's put another pour in this area. And I did, for my real small cups, I pretty much layered them the same, but my other two cups, I did mix it up quite a bit. Okay, that's my second cup. Let's do another cup right about here.
Okay. And let's do, I'm going to start a cup up here and I may actually stop it after a while. We'll just see how it goes here. Okay, I'm going to stop that cup there. And I will start this little cup down here. And again, just see how it goes. Okay, and I will pour the balance of this cup up here. Okay, now I'm just going to add a little bit of paint to help this move because I did make my base coat quite thin. see quite a few cells coming up already. Okay, that should help that paint move. And I think I will wait to torch. Another thing I might do is, I kept out a little bit of the My Dark Blue paint, and I'm just going to run it through. in between these pores. Just for some different effects here.
And I also saved out some of the reddish coppery color I had. Let's give that a little go too. If we can get some of it to come out here. I pop that air bubble there. Just a little bit left here. Okay. That looks good. I do have like a half a cup left if I decide I need to change something. Some really nice effects already on this side, right here and here. Just beautiful. So I am going to start my tipping here. Being mindful of what I really would like to keep. Just go over this corner a little and bring it back. And I will try this corner now. Pull it over the corner and bring it back. Just going to cover those corners quick here. I'm taking a look at it. Okay, I'm going to try this corner. First, I'll bring it down. As I've said in previous videos, it seems like the further I stretch out paint with the mix, the better effects I get. And down there, and let's go for this corner. And I do apologize if you do get out of camera. And I will bring that back. Okay. And at this point, what I'm going to do is run my skewer a little bit through this just to break that up a little bit. Don't be afraid to work with your painting a little bit. Okay, I like that better. And now I will try and tip to this far side. And I will tip down and then over. And I will bring that back. And I'm going to take a look at this. Cleaning off the bottom as I do. I think I'm going to stretch this down quite a bit this way on this corner. 
And also, I want to smooth this out here. Okay. So I'm going to turn it so you can see me do that part. And I'm going to bring that back. And we'll just take another look at it. Clean off the bottoms with my hands here. And I think I'm going to try and pull a little bit of this off here. And even maybe that way, we'll just have to see how it goes here. I'll try and go very, very slow. Just trying to stretch things out a little bit. Okay, and I will bring that back. Now I might possibly take a little bit of this off here. Okay, and I'm going to bring that back. Bring it back down. Okay. Just going to try to take a little bit off down here. And bring that back. Have some really nice things going on there. And I do want to stretch that out. Looks very pretty. Bring it down a little bit. Okay, now we'll take another look at it. I'm 
work on my corners here a minute. And I'm going to clean off the bottom and take the time to do that. Okay, now I'm going to torch it. See what we bring up here. And I still want to I want to bring this down just a little bit because I can see what's going on here it has the potential to be really beautiful and I can afford to lose a little bit of that down there so I'm gonna give it a try here see if the paint will move anymore Now I'm going to bring that back. This is beautiful. I really like it now. Just beautiful. I'm going to clean off the bottom one more time here. Beautiful, beautiful effects from the mix here going on. Okay, I'm going to give it one more torch. And then I'll get you down for a close-up. Okay. Get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, let's go down for a close-up. Now, again, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas that I did multiple dirty rings on, dirty ring pours. This is the upper left-hand corner. I'm just so pleased with this painting. It turned out beautiful. And at first I was hesitant to use the yellow and I'm so glad I did now because it really did give it, give it a, that pop that it needed. And this is the lower left-hand corner. Let me bring you up the mi middle here. And this was not planned, but it almost looks like a waterfall here because this is almost exactly in the middle. Again, not planned. Beautiful in here. Looks just, yeah, it looks like a waterfall. And I'll take you over to the upper right hand corner. Beautiful in here.
very colorful painting. I love this area in here too. A lot going on there. And I'll take you down to the lower right hand corner. And this is some of the effects that that mix gives. You can see many different layers there of colors of paint. Just beautiful. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you um, press the bell and choose all so you'll know all the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. And until next time, Take care, everybody. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to show you this 12 by 12 inch painting that I did after this video. I had some leftover paints. So here is the upper left-hand corner. I had a half a cup of leftover paint and I just scraped out my other cups. And I just did a dirty pour right in the middle with some other little puddles going on too. And I'll just take you up the middle here. And here's the upper right hand corner. I did take the dark blue and I just uh, made little lines all over the place before I tipped. But this is what I wanted you to see. There is an artist named Gail Bernston of Life and Splatters. She does mystical creatures paintings. And when I got done with this, I kept tipping and tipping, thinking this was a butterfly. But when I got finished, I looked at it and I see a fish in there. You see the fish? There's the eyes and the lips. Just a fish in the ocean. And I just thought I had to share that with you. Even though I didn't do the whole video. I just, I got a mystical creature also. First time ever. So I just thought I'd share. I wanted to give a shout out to Gail Bernston. Because I do admire her work and all her mystical creatures that she does get. So just consider this a bonus. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.